Good morning. It's Sheila from She's a Sassy Lady, and I have to tell you, it is Memorial Day. Uh, and that's when I'm actually doing this video, and it's not going to show for a couple weeks. But I'm getting ready to go out and spend some time in the pool and take my nap in the pool. And, and I wanted to share a project I'm going to do with you. I am going to do another scrap lift. But this is one that I was kind of challenged by Bobby at the Cricut Couple. Um, he did the most awesome project. He did this card, and this is what it looks like. But then he put instructions on the blog because he could not get the his um, his Gypsy Sync to work, Cricut Sync to work. So he couldn't download the file for you. So what we're going to do, and Bobby kind of challenged me in a little off way. Um, at any rate, I had to make this and make it a Gypsy Made Simple project. But let me tell you. It is not simple, okay? So this is what I did. I, I took a picture of the card, and I'm going to sit it next to my gypsy, and the whole time I'm working, it will be sitting on the side of my gypsy. But the first steps that I did is I made a copy. He put instructions, and he put sizes down there. And what I did is I sat down with my gypsy. I had these. I made, and let me zoom in so you can see. I took all the uh, the copy of the page and I wrote down the size that Bobby put on there. You know, what card it came from and the size. See? And in each one of them I've got, and I've even got down Pop-Up Neighborhood, has the hay, and you do two at 3.90 and one at 4.60. And I did all of that and put it on the gypsy. Now, every one of you can do that and follow that. That's a piece of cake, as simple as can be. But I want you to do that, and then the hard part is putting it together. And I finally got it together, and I want to tell you, it takes a lot of playing to get them in the right position. And just so that you know that up front. Now, this is what it's going to look like as we put it together. And, and you could see it on Bobby's um, post that he did. And he did, he was nice enough to make a picture of it so you could see how everything laid on there. The problem is, is it wants to jump all over the place. And then to get it to weld together afterwards is very difficult. And I had to keep a picture of, my, of that little scarecrow next to me so that I could see. Now here's the final one that he did, the picture, and it shows everything welded together. Okay, so that's what we're going to try to do is get all these little pieces together and I want to show you how that works. So, Kit, to make your life easier, print the pictures that Bobby had and the sizes and it'll be a lot easier for you. Now, like I said, I did that already. I've got it on my gypsy so that you can see and I'm going to zoom in some more. I moved the position of it where he, no I didn't, I later on I moved the position. Now what I did, once I got to this point, I have all the different sizes on, I have all the different pieces on that Bobby had on. From that point what I did is I took and I grouped everything and this is where I immediately started having problems. And because when you go to group it, Unfortunately, that circle was almost impossible to get because it's between and the hat is eight and a half inches. So what you have to do, oops, see, it immediately it starts giving you a hard time. And what I eventually did and figured out is to put my real size button on. And that shortened up the little pieces so that I could take and grab them. No, I'm still not doing that. Okay, I'm going to move the hat over. And I'm going to group those two together. And then go back. Take off my real size button. Get my hat over here. And I want to group them together. So I want that plus that. That's a group. The hat down there is a group. And I want to take that back off. Get off of the, the group button altogether. And let's go. We'll put a layer two on and go back to layer one. What I wanted to do was get off where I'm not in the group situation anymore. And 
then you have to get all these little ones grouped together, which is very difficult together. To uh, excuse me, to do one, the group button two, the three, and see, I'm leaving one out. There we got it. You just got to keep playing with it. I cannot give you a secret remedy to do that. And the group button is on, so I'm going to grab that, and now they are all grouped together. Now go to layer 2, it's already been highlighted, and copy it onto layer 2. Now you know you've got the exact same size that you're going to have with all your little parts. And what I'm going to do at this point is I am going to hide layer 1, because layer 1 is all my colors, all my different pieces and I'm moving to layer 2 and layer 2 is all the pieces that we need to make the scarecrow okay so I'm going to hit the ungroup button everything's highlighted right now so hit ungroup and all the pieces are separate again which is fine because it's easier for me to work with now what I'm going to do is get rid of one of the hats because all I need is one hat okay I need one of each piece I'm gonna start with the circle in the center and I am going to put the bandana underneath the circle. I'm going to take a piece of hair, which is the hay, move it over, and then go to the advance button and turn it. Oops, I went too far. And I want it over this way a little bit. And Go to the turn button again. Get it up a little because that will go underneath the hat. And again, remember I told you I've got this sitting on the side so I can see how much of the hay is hanging out to look like hay, or straw, not hay. The straw is hanging out and then off to the right too. So that's what, what I'm looking at when I'm playing with these so that you know. Now the big one is going to go underneath here, underneath the bandana, okay, get that underneath the bandana like that, and this other one's got to come down, get it about there, and do the rotate button again, whoops, I went way too fast move it in okay looking pretty good so far I want to get the hat and just kind of put it on and see if it's gonna go and it is gonna go okay so what I want to do is I want to leave the hat off to the side because of see this down here and I want you to see that see how it's highlighted down here that's all that excess. It's all because it is paper doll dress up. It's designed to fit on one of the dolls. So it's actually this hat is eight and a half inches. So that space is eight and a half inches that it shows there. Well, if I set it on here and start working, I can't reach my circle or any of the other pieces to group them together and then weld them. So I'm just going to put the hat off to the side on the bottom here and deal with my little pieces that I have. I want to somehow try to get a hold of the circle. If I can't get a hold of the circle, which it doesn't look like I can, I'm going to move the bandana or this down, the other straw, and try my circle again. And I just got it, but I moved it a little bit, so I'm going to get it centered again. There, I think I've got a little bit more. There, I've got my center circled. So I've got the center. I'm going to go to the basic key, hit the group button, and I'm going to get a piece of the straw left, straw right, bandana, and I've got them all grouped together, and I'm going to weld it. Okay? Now, just to get an idea of what it looks like, so far it is perfect. Can you stand it? Let's get this picture out so you can see. See how it's all welded together right here? Look at that. Just like I've got it. Okay? 
but we're missing two pieces. We're missing the straw underneath the bandana. So what we're going to do is take the eyeball off. We're going to get the that straw put on here. Oh, and look at I just noticed something. My bandana needs to move over just a little bit to the right. And down a little bit. There we go. See, that's the beauty. You can still move it around a little. Okay, we've got them on there. Now, let's move the straw in. Position it just right. There we go. We've got some little pieces there. Okay, we've got that. Now, let's grab it and hit the highlight button, highlight button. Go back to advanced and group it together. Okay? Now let's get our hat on. Now our hat's going to be a little bit tricky because it's got to be up enough where it's hiding the straw. And I noticed, look at, it's cocked off to the side a little bit. So we need to do that. So take that turn button and just, oops, tilted it the wrong way. Of course you could tilt it whatever way you want. But now, I don't know whether you can notice that, my straw is showing underneath, up above. So what I want to do is I want to physically touch it, move it down a little bit so you can't see the straw. And I think I need to tilt it back a little bit so go, whoops, I went too far. There we go. Perfect. And I'm going to move it down just a tad bit more. There we go. Now, let's take the hat, touch the group button, grab any part of that scarecrow now, and it becomes one unit welded together and let's look at it. Make sure that everything is going fine. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit more just so you can see. I think you can see it pretty good as it is. But doesn't that look wonderful? We now have the scarecrow. And yes it was hard but it wasn't that hard. You just need to take it one piece at a time, and if you do a little bit of planning first, that's all you need to do. Now, Bobby said that he used a 5-inch um, card and matted it to it, and I didn't print that what the final looks like, uh, but that's okay. You don't need to. He attached a card to the back of that. So what he did is he used the Close to My Heart Art Philosophy card. Let's see if I can't do this real quick for you. Oh, cancel. I did the wrong thing. And he used an oval card. So let's go to the card and he used the round circle ovals. There we go, right there. And he did them at about a five inch. I'm not going to do that because I want it, I'm going to set that on there and kind of go and fit it and see what it fits to because I think mine worked out to be a little bit larger than that five inch. And I want to be able to set the card right in there. So I was thinking it was more of a 5 by 7 inch that it would fit into and I think I'm mine came out a little bit larger and it will fit perfectly on a 5 by 7 so I'm going to take that card put that on layer 3 copy it over hide layer 2 okay so we've got that and let's see the width it's going to be a thin, narrow card. Okay. Let's also try
No, I don't want to try it there. Backspace. Okay. I want to go back to the thing. Layer 2. I'm trying things. Hide layer 3 so we don't see it. And that was 7 inches. I wonder if he did a 5 inch, 5.5 five inch, 5 inch. Let's do the circle. Move the circle there. Oh, I've got a scalloped edge. That's okay. It gives me an idea what we're doing. See, no, it has to be the other one. It has to be the other. Okay, so we're good. We're good. I'm going to leave it like that and call it a card that's completed. All we have to do is cut it. Now, I've already, since I started my pieces already, I do have it set up as card dash scarecrow. So I've got it saved. I actually have two of them because I played with one already in here. And I want to go back to the thing so you can see it one more time. This is it with everything welded together. And if I push the little eyeball, you see everything like that. Now, hopefully, when I cut it, it's going to be perfect. But I'm fully suspecting that I may have to alter something a little bit, but I'll let you know later on. That's how you put the card together. But again, when you are scrap lifting and it's something like this, it's not, uh, oh, a design like the last scrap lift I did, and I'm going to move this for you. The last scrap lift I did, I, um, let's zoom in and zoom into this card here that Bobby did. It was a very simple card, and all I did was change sizes. This one, you are literally breaking it down and taking piece by piece by piece. And that's what the challenge for me was from Bobby. And, and I, I just love challenges like this. And this is what I like the Gypsy for, is that we can take a design like this that's extremely difficult, because this design is, and bring it into something and simplify it by looking at piece by piece by piece. And Bobby did a wonderful thing for us. He broke it down so we could see how it was put together. And I think the biggest challenge to me was to look at an object as separate little pieces. And he broke it down though by all we have to do is as long as we got those carts. And he even said the pop-up neighborhood is a cricket circle um, exclusive, but that's okay if you don't have that, then you can use, I believe he said the poo cartridge. I don't know, he's got it listed in the uh, in the post and I'll get some of that information for you and put all the different cards there so we're good I mean you can change out uh, the art philosophy if you need to you could change out the paper doll every day so that's gonna be difficult you just gotta find something with a hat so but most of us have paper dolls every day and the bandana is old west so good luck I want to see you link up this one. I want everyone to try it, and I am going to try to make the file for you so that you have a file and you could give it a try. And now you need to know that this sunflower came from uh, close to my heart. That's the stamp of the month for May. But if you don't have it, then you're going to have to use a different flower on his hat. And his whole face was not stamped on. Bobby drew that on. And I'm going to try getting half as good as what he did. And I'll call it a success because I'm not much of an artist, although I do have markers. So, as you know. So, at any rate, thank you so much for joining us today. And I want to see you link up something. Link up a difficult project like this. Or give it a try. Um, I'll provide the, the file for you and I want you to at least give it a try. Thank you. Have a wonderful day and I gotta go jump in the pool now and take my nap. Bye.